Voila. Okay, so this is going to be a video on how to quickly remove uh, spirals you get from Q Remesher inside of ZBrush. Uh, I'll show you how to get rid of them in 3D Studio Max in a fairly quick way. Well, it isn't that quickly, but it's faster than having to do a lot of things by hand. So what do I, uh, do I mean with, uh, with spirals? So if I select one edge and I take a loop, you see it spirals all the way around. And in most cases, you don't want that. So how can you fix this fairly quickly is uh, you take one edge, you collapse it, and if you loop this now, you can see, well, this is still one continuous loop, but if I take the other one, you can see it's a nice edge loop like you'd want it to be. Now, so what I have to do is I go down a few loops and do the same thing. I collapse, then I spiral loop it until there so it stops. I control backspace to delete the loops, then I activate, I go to graphite modeling, I take, uh, where is it again? I take, oh yeah, edit, swift loop, hold shift, and what it will do is it will nicely add loops in the center of, uh, of your two other loops and conform the uh, geometry according to the flow of the shape. So as you can see now, if I loop this, it's all nice loops until I hit the spot where I stopped. So you can actually collapse uh, an edge way further, but you have to make sure the uh, the surface change between the two loops you're going to uh, adjust isn't too large. So if you take like three or four and then collapse it, then do the same process again. So control L to loop, control backspace to delete, then I'll do control L, well, I'll go to swift loop, hold shift, press, et voila, as you can see, it added uh, nice loops in between there. And you do the same thing, like once again, collapse, well, uh, it's the bottom one, loop, delete, swift loop, normally have it on a uh, shortcut, but it isn't working anyway, uh, so hold shift, add in loops, well, and do the same thing over and over again. Well, I hope this was clear enough and yeah good luck minimize